How does the lack of wind actually affect the tactics? Um, oh, look, on a day like today, it's very tricky because obviously we're, we're sailing a long way down the bay, so we've got to think about where the wind might come from. And, that, and uh, with the, the type of boats we've got, we're still looking for the most wind, so we may, you know, basically have one side of the course that we think might have more wind than the other. And tell us about what the crew behind you are doing as we speak before we, before we take off. Uh, look, there's a lot that goes into getting the boat ready, so they're getting all the sails sorted out and uh, adjusting the mast and so forth for the conditions that we expect for the day, and um, also kind of getting the computer set up so that um, it gives us information about how we're performing on the day based off the theoretically how we should be going. And you've competed in this race quite a bit. How does today differ from the previous times that you've competed? Uh, look, we've done a couple of light ones. I've also done a few where it's been really, really, really windy. Um, so I much prefer the light. It should be a really enjoyable kind of sail down the bay and down, down to the peninsula. And I've told you a red hot favourite for the race today. Any uh, pressure that you're carrying on your shoulders? Uh, oh, look, yeah, there is another 50 foot boat. So, I mean, we've only had the boat for about six weeks, six or eight weeks. So, um, we should do okay, but there's, there is competition um, and that, so I think if we go the wrong way, we'll probably pay for it. <laughs> Tell us about the boat, particularly for the novice uh, sailors out there that wouldn't have a clue what they're looking at. Tell us about your boat. Yeah, so this is a TP52 yacht. Um, it's pretty much a Grand Prix racing boat, a bit like, I suppose, a, a, a Formula One uh, on, on the water. Uh, it's fully built out of carbon fibre. Um, even our little toilet bowl downstairs is actually made out of carbon fibre, so it's all about uh, less weight and more power, basically. So uh, these boats are exceptionally fast boats in, uh, in most conditions. Why is the start so important in a race like this? Um, well, start's important because you need to get to clear wind. So basically, if you can get a good start, you get the breeze you want to and you can sail the course that you want to. So uh, one of the tricks today, even for us in the bigger boat, will be to kind of get out into the clear, clear breeze early rather than getting kind of stuck amongst the crew of smaller boats. It will sort of load off. What about the tactics for the race? What, what, is it, is it a, uh, you know, fly by the seat of your pants? Or do you have a, do you have a plan before going into it? No, no, we, we definitely have a plan. So we, like last night, we just look at the weather models and try to understand what the breeze may do today. And then um, myself and the tactician on the day will kind of like talk through what we believe, we believe will happen. But it's not anything like weather forecasting. It's always wrong. It's just how much it's wrong. Um, so, you know, we expect the breeze to build a little bit through the day and the hard part's going to be deciding whether it comes from from the middle of the bay or from the land. And it's half a decent way to get rid of some Christmas turkey or some beers from yesterday. Uh, yeah, it is. So I've behaved myself yesterday. So I <laughs> had Christmas lunch, not Christmas dinner. So, um, and I've done a few ocean races in the past. So I was able to enjoy my Christmas lunch rather than worry about um, what I might have been eating yesterday if I'm heading into the ocean today. How much? How important is a wind for you today? Was it more about having a bit of fun? Oh, look, I've bought this boat to have fun. You know, I've got my two children sailing with me, a 16 and 18 year old, and a lot of their friends. And, um, you know, the, I've kind of purchased the boat because I want to bring some of the young kids into sailing. And that's, we've got a really young crew and that. And you know, today's about just having fun. And that there's other more serious um, things to do at other times of the year. But um, today's just about having a bit of fun and sailing down the boat. You're a star. Oh, no. Thank you, mate. Not a problem. Appreciate it, buddy.